The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, CAMTEL, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalova Lyunga, Minister of Secondary Education. Welcome to our distance learning session. Today we are going to treat lesson 9, which is man in the Mediterranean region. I am Ndikum Evelyn, your geography teacher for Form 2. As I earlier said, our lesson is man in the Mediterranean region. But before we start our lesson, let's look at our assignment during the last class. Question, which are the different farming practices in areas with little or no rainfall? We have correction of our assignment. We have irrigation system of farming. We have pastoral nomadism. We have arable farming. We saw all these different farming systems in our last lesson. So let's go to our lesson overview. We have learning objectives, previous knowledge, situation in real life, lesson activities, exercises, assignment and the different references. Let's look at the objective of our lesson. We have talked about man in the Mediterranean regions of the world. So we we'll have to locate and identify the different Mediterranean regions of the world. We describe the climatic and economic characteristics of this area. And we identify the different problems faced in this area and propose solutions. Let's look at previous knowledge. You have already studied other natural regions of the world. You are versed with these different natural regions. And we have already seen, or we have already uh, on, uh, studied their different characteristics and understand how the resources of this area are being exploited. And looking at man in the Mediterranean region, Obviously, we we'll look at how the resources of this area and also the characteristics of the Mediterranean region. But let's look at a situation in real life. The nearness of the Mediterranean region to the hot desert areas of the world is leading to constant reduction of productive land to the deserts. What can be done to remedy this situation? Let's take it once again. The nearness of the Mediterranean regions of the nearness of the Mediterranean regions to the hot deserts or to the hot desert areas of the world is leading to constant reduction of productive land to the desert. What can be done to remedy this situation? In the course of our lesson, we'll be able to answer this problem. Let's look at the different learning activities. We are going to look at the latitudinal location of the Mediterranean regions, the different areas 
found in the Mediterranean regions of the world, the characteristics of this area, the resource exploitation or resources exploited in this region, and also the different problems faced in this region and their proposed solutions. The Mediterranean region of the world is located between latitude 30 degrees to 45 degrees north and south of the equator. It is found on the western side of the continent. We are going to look at the different areas in the world where we have the Mediterranean regions in order to see whether they are really found on the western side of the continent. These are the different Mediterranean regions of the world. We have in the American continent, this is North America, we have Central California. We come down to South America, we have Central Chile. We come to the Mediterranean region itself, the Mediterranean area where we have the Mediterranean coastline and we come down to South of Africa where we have the Mediterranean area in Cape Town in South Africa and we, the Australian continent where we have Southwest Australia, we also have the Mediterranean region. So when we look at these different areas, the American continent is found on the western side of the continent. We look at the Mediterranean coastline itself, west, and we also look at the Australian, the Australian continent itself on the western area. So, with the area location, as we have already seen on our diagram, we realize that the Mediterranean region has its own different characteristics. And which are these characteristics? We have the nature of the area, which are the physical characteristics of this area. And we also have the different resources that are found in this area and how these resources are being exploited. Let's look at the physical characteristic of the Mediterranean region. The Mediterranean region, it we look at climate. The climate of this area is known as the Mediterranean climate. And this area has two seasons, the winter and the summer seasons, the hot, dry and sunny summers, and mild winter. With this, we have a very moderate rainfall of about 400 millimeters to 900 millimeters per year. And with this moderate rainfall, we realize that the type of rainfall in this area is the cyclonic rainfall. And this rainfall, it falls for a very long period of time, but not very heavy rainfall but it lasts for a long period of time. And the temperatures are also moderate. We have summer temperature of 21 degrees centigrade and winter temperatures that goes down to about 10 degrees centigrade. So they are very moderate temperature as opposed to the different areas of the world where we have winter that the temperatures go right down to zero degrees centigrade. So looking at the Mediterranean region, they have very, very moderate temperatures. We look at the type of air masses that blow in this area. And it is with the help of these air masses that we have the type of rainfall that we just mentioned above, the cyclonic rainfall, the meeting of two air masses with different characteristics, the warm and the cold air mass. So we have offshore trade winds, that blow during the summer season. Offshore means these air masses, they are blowing from the coastal or from the land to the water body. So this type of air mass is very dry. 
it brings little or no rainfall. While, and that is why we have very hot and sunny summers, because the rainfall is very, very little. We have onshore winds. These onshore winds are winds that blow from the water body towards the coastal area. There are, there are winds with moisture, a lot of moisture with them, due to the high rate of evaporation that takes place on the water surface. So they carry this moisture to the coastal land. And that is why in winter, we talk about mild winters, and in win these winters we have rainfall. We have heavy rainfall or moderate rainfall, not moderate rainfall in this area because of the onshore winds that blow from the water body towards the coastal areas. Then let's look at the resources of the Mediterranean region. The activity and the different resources. We have agriculture, the cultivation of crops, arable farming, and animal rearing or pastoral nomadism. Arable farming, it consists of the traditional and the modern method of cultivation whereby human labor is very, very intensive. We have animals which are also being used to till the soil and we also have machines, that is mechanical agriculture, modern method of agricultural practices. We also, with this we have a wide variety of crops that are being cultivated in these areas. Mostly cereals, because looking at the rainfall in this area, we realize that mostly cereals crops can do well in this area. So we have beans, maize, wheat, we have fruits and also vegetables. And the farms in this area are mostly, they are small, small farmlands. And as in our situation in real life, we talked about the encroachment of the deserts in the Mediterranean region. So it is an area with very limited agricultural land. And that is why most of the farmlands in this area are very small farmlands. And because of it also nearness to the hot deserts, irrigation is also highly practiced, which is the artificial washing of crops by man. We have images of mechanical agriculture and on. We have the two images. We have the first image with the tractor tilling the soil. And the second image, we have a combined harvester that is harvesting rice. So this, with the Mediterranean region, Mechanical or modern method of agriculture is also very highly practiced. Then we also have irrigation, as we have earlier said. We have our first image, which is modern method of irrigation, whereby water is being pumped by engines, electricity. We use electricity to pump water into the farms. And we have, this is water that is watering the crops. Then we also have a traditional method of washing of these crops, traditional irrigation method, where we have a man carrying water in a can and washing the crops. Then we all, with different, the different food crops that we also talk about, we have wheat, belly, rice, vegetables, beans, flowers, tomatoes, and we have a very big farmland here, which is mostly vegetables and tomatoes that have been uh, cultivated in this farmland. So we have a very large farmland where these products, these crops are cultivated. We also have fruits that are also being highly cultivated in this area. We have orchards where we have different types of fruits, oranges, lemon, lime, and, and citron, mostly citrus fruits that have been cultivated in this area. 
because of its climatic condition. So we have our orchard here, an orange orchard, with, which is well developed. And with, with this, this area is highly noted for its fruit cultivation. We also have viticulture which is the cultivation of vines or grapes which are used for the production of wine. We always see red wine, white wine and with our grapes here, this is a grape farm where we have grapes. Look at them, these are grapes. We use them to produce wine and this is highly being produced in France, in South Africa itself, where these crops are highly cultivated. This is a, 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 a grape farm in Cape Town in South Africa. And these grapes are also being consumed fresh. They are eaten fresh. We also have horticulture, which is also highly being practiced in this area. We have the cultivation of flowers. We have our images for commercial purpose. They are being cultivated for commercial purpose and also for domestic use. So we have flowers. We have a woman and a child in a flower garden. And we also have flower down here, the second image, which is also highly being cultivated in this area. We also have olives. Olives are also highly cultivated in this area. And with olives, we are able to consume it in fresh form. And also we extract oil from these olives. At times when we go to the market, we see olive oil. They are very, very expensive. It comes from the Mediterranean region. It is used for cooking and also for frying. And at times, it, 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 it is being prescribed in the hospital for new babies. So we have olive that is also highly being cultivated in this area. And it is also being processed in this area. And we have our two images here. We have a bottle of olive, fresh olive that can be consumed. At times when we go to supermarkets, we see this bottled olive, we buy, we come and consume at home, but we don't know where it is being cultivated. It is cultivated in the Mediterranean region. Then we have olive oil that is being transformed and bottled, which is also being used in our homes for cooking and other activities. Let's look at animal rearing, pastoral mm -hmm. farming. We have many animals that are being reared in this area. We have sheep, we have cattle, we have goats. These animals, they are, most, they are reared on mainly in the mountain areas. And during the winter period, these animals, they are being taken down to the valleys because during winter, the temperatures are very, very high, uh, are very, very low on the mountains, but the valleys, they are very warm and vegetation is found in the valley. So they, they carry these animals down to the valley areas. And during the summer, when the temperatures are moderate high, these animals have been taken back to the mountain areas. So there is the movement of these animals from the mountains to the valley and from the valleys back to the mountain during the different seasons. And this process, this up and down movement is known as transhumans. Some of these animals are also used in the farms to till the soil. We have our image here of a cow and a man behind it 
the cow is pulling and with this it helps to till the soil and prepare it for cultivation. And this process whereby the animal till the soil is known as animal traction. This animal, there are so many products that are byproduct of these animals. We have mutton, we have beef, we have hides and skin, which is mostly used to uh, fabricate shoes, bags. Is the skin of these animals. Milk is also being extracted to produce cheese and also butter. Every day we consume cheese, we consume butter. We take breakfast in the morning with milk. It is from these different animals. We have other resources in this area. We have fishing and mining. We have the traditional and the modern method of fishing. With the traditional method of fishing, we have, it's been, we have fishing linings that are being used in carrying out fishing, hooks and baskets, poisonous substances like gamaline and leaves, which are being used in order to pour them into the waters. And this uh, fish, they fit on and they are being captured. But in most cases, they capture them while they are dead. So it is not very, very advisable because this substance is also poisonous. It can be very dangerous to human, the human system. We have spear fishing, we have mobile traps, and we also have fishing in the night. We have modern method of fishing. We have boats, fishing boats and ships. Here on this picture, we have boats that have been anchored on the sea and we have different fishing materials that are here. These are nets that are found in these containers where these fishermen, they use during their fishing activity in order to catch fish. Then we have mining activity that is also going on in the Mediterranean region. We have a quarry here where we have exploitation of stone for construction work and other activity, road construction. Then we have an open pit mining here where minerals are being exploited, especially manganese, which is being exploited here. And we also have petroleum. Petroleum also is highly being exploited in this area. With these different activities, obviously, there are a lot of problems that this region also faces. This region faces problem of deserts, spread of the deserts that affect farmland and cause food insecurity. When we are talking about the location of the Mediterranean region, we say it is close to the deserts. And in our life situation, we, we brought up this very problem, how the productive land is being uh, reduced as a result of the spread of the desert. We also have problem of overgrazing. Since we have different animals that are being raised in this area, with the small nature of the land, obviously, Increase in these animals is also leading to a big problem of overgrazing. And because of this overgrazing, these animals, they eat all the grass, they dance the area, and this area can no longer be reproductive. And as a result of that, it is leading to a great loss of land as a result of overgrazing. We have poor soils. Since it is close to the desert, there is high rate of evaporation. And also because of the small farmlands, these lands are constantly being tilled and exposed. So there is salinization that is taking place that is greatly reducing the soil fertility, 
and also the farmland itself. We have problem of drought, prolonged period of dryness. Because of its closeness to the desert, there is a lot of aridity in this area. And there are periods where instead of rainfall, we have a complete period of dryness. And that is reducing the amount of food production in this area. And obviously, because of population increase, most of this land is also being lost to urban development. There is over exploitation. We just saw the different images on fishing and mineral exploitation. There is over exploitation of these resources, which is also a great problem. This brings us to the different problems, proposed solutions to these problems. Irrigation schemes have been constructed to help increase the supply of water. And in the process of increasing the supply of water, new farmlands can be opened. And these new farmlands will lead to an increase in food production and also attract more population to this area. And also with fishing, as we have seen, we saw the traditional method of fishing where the different substances are being used. The population is highly being sensitized and also the population is also being trained on the practicing of fish farming in order to increase fish production. And also because of the aridity nature of the area, Great afforestation is highly being practiced in this area where trees are being planted and with the planting of these trees it will help to reduce the encroachment of the desert and also reduce the high rate of evaporation in this area. In the summary from the Mediterranean region as we have already seen, it is found on the western side of the continent. It is very fragile zone and because of its fragile nature we saw limited agricultural activity because of little or no water. However, we are going to look at some questions in order to... We are going to look at questions concerning our lesson. Question one, name the different... Uh, this natural region is located between latitude 30 degrees and 45 degrees north and south of the equator. Which region? We have seen the different natural region. Which natural region is located between this area? We have the Mediterranean region of the world. Which is C. The answer C, the Mediterranean region. Question 2. The largest Mediterranean region. We have seen the different Mediterranean region on our map. And we realize that the largest Mediterranean region is the Mediterranean coastline itself, which is B, the Mediterranean coastline. Question three. The seasonal up and down movement of cattle is known as, we have seen the seasonal up and down movement of cattle where they move to the mountains during summer and down to the valleys during winter. And we said this movement up and down is known as transhumans. Let's look at a question. It cannot go without an assignment. So question, outline some areas of the world that are highly affected by drought and water shortage. That we are going to look in our next class. We look at the different references. We have Aquan, Constance and Art, 2015, Geography for Competency Development, Green World Publishing Company. We have the different websites, ista.com, alma.com, and National Science all, which are the different references. And that has brought us to the end of our lesson. So we'll see, see you in the next lesson on traditional fishing in Cameroon. <laughs>
Una tege majang makegendom Mane tambia ninya ne njubya yen Ngani bana matege mut Ngani la kiri wategendong Esa kina bia jinkido Mane tambia ninya ne njubya yen Tam tama mote tam zabike Tam tama tonge tam zabike Tam tam tama mote tam zabike Mane tambia ninya ne njubya yen